There are three in here that are about the same age. Here we go. Shy baby. Good boys, good boys. This one seems to be a little bit um, bolder. So their eyes have not been open all that long, wow. maybe four or five days. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these were these are two different batches that were um, one I picked up a brother wolf and the other two uh, were brought into the nature center. Mm -hmm. um, one day apart, so that was two separate trips. Um, and they were both both batches were um, orphaned. So this one was a cat attack, so it had to be um, kept on its own mm. for five days for a dose of antibiotics for five days. But then as soon as that regiment was over, I put them together because they feel a lot better when they're in a group. And he's very shy. <laughs> very shy. At this, at this age, their eyes are fully open, their ears are fully open, so they are really becoming more aware of their uh, surroundings and for them everything is danger. Okay, so they are currently on formula with a little bit of um, greens mixed in, some raw vegetables chopped up. Um, and they'll continue on that until, as, as they're gaining weight, I'll be reducing the amount of formula they, got, they get and uh, increasing the greens and the natural vegetation that will be their diet when they're released. And then when they reach about 120 grams, which they're about a 60 or 65 grams now, so when they reach about 120 grams, that's when I release them. How important is it that Appalachian Wild gets a triage facility open? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me that because um, there's probably a hundred of us in-home rehabilitators in Western North Carolina and it's an intense process to receive, evaluate, and care for each individual animal um, and if there's no triage place that means we are also having to in addition to doing all that work we're having to go out and collect the animals ourselves we're having to do the contact with the people who have found them um, and there aren't enough hours in the day to do that um, this is a slow time I have three rabbits here um, I usually have 20, <laughs> so, uh, and that can be uh, depending on what their needs are, what their medical conditions are, that can be a full day's work every day. So there's no time to go gather. There needs to be a place, a central place where people can bring orphaned or injured animals and the in-home rehabilitators can help at wild by going and picking them up there.